So I'm here with Dan Jones. Dan's one of the co-owners here at Carousel Works. So Dan, tell us a little bit about uh, you know, Carousel Works and how you, how you you and Art kind of hooked up and now you're doing some amazing things. Well, you're talking around 25 years ago, we met through a, basically a third party. And I had a home improvement business doing home improvements. Art was a professional carver, mm -hmm. self-taught. And we hit it off and decided that he would, we would ha have a company that would build wooden figures for individual people. Mm -hmm. And at the time, there was a company in Pennsylvania looking to restore Carousel for a park in, in Connecticut. We got the job, so I was doing to do the restoration. Okay. He did carving. And as that proceeded, and a few years down the road, we got to the point where we had restored 13 antique carousels mm -hmm. complete, which if you relate it to all the new parts we had to make for them, we had probably built four new carousels. Huh. So then we had to make a decision, okay, we're we gonna build carousels for a living. And we said, let's go for it. <laughs> and now 40 some odd carousels later, here we are. So you're taking old world craftsmanship, really, and blending some of the new technology. Pretty much, oh, absolutely. So what's that, when you, when you started working with 3D design tools, you're using Autodesk Inventor, you guys were, were an Inventor of the Month here recently. Right. You're, you're taking that, that, that new technology and, and, and capturing some, some things and, and really able to do some things with, with your carousels that you know, are that kind of non-traditional, right? Correct. But the other reason too is um, labor. Hmm. Our business is very labor intensive, so the more time we can save in figuring things out, and our can do it on a computer, hmm. saves us a lot of money. Yeah. Okay. So we, we've, got, we've got an example here. Yep. You know, this is this is one of the more uh, recent designs that uh, you guys were able to capture in Autodesk Inventor, mm -hmm. and you know, just obviously this is a really small part of a of a larger carousel. But right, you know, what type of information is communicated out to you guys so that you can build this? Well, number one, instead of just taking pieces back here, cutting them out, all of these are flame cut. First, Art draws them in the program, mm -hmm. and another part of the program is you can see he can put the whole program on this type of paper and actually have the entire carousel, which the customer can see. Sure. With this, he shows them in 3D, he can turn it, he can rotate it, but then he can go to this point where you have working drawings for every single part on the carousel. Mm -hmm. Now there is part of the, this is one part of this drawing. Yeah. Now there's four on that go on that carousel. With the drawings, we have these sent out to be flame cut, they come back, they get tacked together, everything gets fit, then it's sent out to the uh, machine shop to be welded and then powder coated. And it's just one part of the carousel, but when you multiply that out, it's saving us an awful lot of time. Yeah, so, so being able to, to digitally construct a carousel mm -hmm. um, and then you know be able to create drawings from it, but it's more than just the the 3D model, the visualization, and the drawings, it's, it's also helping you visualize what you're building out here as well. Oh, absolutely, because <laughs> quite honestly, what we used to do is build a part, then make the drawing. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, you're, you're using the CAD tool really more of as, as, as a documentation, documentation tool rather than a design tool, and that's kind of flipped, right. flipped in you, the other direction. Whether now, it right? be the framework or the facade work, you can make a drawing give it to us out here in the shop, and we build it <laughs> with very few questions. Where before, we'd have to build actually the machine as we go up, then measure where this, these parts and pieces will fit, then build them. <laughs> so you, you can't imagine how much time it saves us out here. So being able to, to, to model this up you know, digitally and, and, and kind of experiment with new design ideas from you know, more of an old world, old school craftsman mentality and injecting some new fabrication and manufacturing techniques is improving quality and, and, and really saving your customers money. Well, that is, you said the key word right there, saving our customer money. We keep the price down so that more people can afford them. So anyone else out there still making the part first, then drawing the model? There are a few, I bet. I love it when technology does what it's supposed to do. So next I head over to the duplicating machine and make my own mark on somebody's caboose.